Hi everybody. Today we're going to do some work on Alice here. Uh, I've not touched her for a while. She's oh the last thing I did was put the wheels on. You can see the film for that. I'll put a link to it. Um, today we're going to do some work to her. The uh, right front brake I noticed was seized on, so I'm going to free that off. Then I've got the condenser and the points. I'm going to try and fit them and get them all cleaned up and put the battery back on. Been on charge over winter, um, so that's nice and fully charged. So let's go and have a look, see what we can do with that. Right then, one of the things I want to get done today is I'm going to sort these out, the bolts. Uh, when I fitted these alloy wheels, I just put the old, ordinary steel wheel bolts on there, which aren't very good. They're kind of digging into the aluminium. I don't know if you can see it in there, but they're, they're not very good. They're not the rough, proper ones. So I've been out today, bought some nice shiny chromed bolts. Uh, I don't know why they sell them in packs of 10 and I have to buy 20 for this car when I only need 16 I get four over. But there you go, that's what they are. These are M12 by one and a half pitch on them. Uh, nice and chrome shiny bolts. So that's one of the things I want to do today. I'm gonna to go around and do that. The other thing I'm gonna do is uh, pull off this wheel and that caliper is stuck so I'm gonna try and free it off today see if we can do anything about that At this point I had to get my wife to help me. I removed the inside brake pad and uh, I got her to sit in the car and press the brake, but pump the brake pedal so that I could see the piston come out. And just before it touched the disc, I got her to stop pumping it. Then I could remove the caliper and try and squash the piston back in again. Uh, it's supposed to go slightly hard. It's supposed to be, it's not supposed to be easy to push the caliper back in again, but in this case, it was ridiculously hard to push it back in again. I mean, that's because it's been seized for such a long time. Um, I did manage to remove the dust seal at one point, which you'll see. And with that removed, I could spray in some cleaner, get rid of the rust. And then I was able to spray in some some uh, WD-40 in there to loosen the seal up and allow the piston to go backwards and forwards. Um, so that's basically what you're watching me do, is taking out the dust seal like this. Um, very very carefully so not to rip it and then spray in some cleaner and some uh, WD-40 after that and it's just a matter of doing it forward and backwards forward and backwards forward and backwards until I got the piston to go as I wanted it to go
Så har du släppt bromsarna. Tryck på bromsarna då. Och så släpper du. Hahaha. Nu funkar det. Bromsa. Oh, you can see that on camera. I hope you can see that on camera, but there you can see the difference between the two bolts. The nice new chromed ones have got a much deeper uh, collar on them, which allows them to fit into the alloy wheel. The old steel ones don't have much at all, and it kind of meant that the head of the bolt here was digging into the alloy wheel. These new chromed ones sit much better into the alloy wheel when they pull in. I've been looking around the wheel arches and from what I can see by the look of them especially this one which is the right hand side it doesn't look all that bad so I don't think I need to change that one at all I do have a little bit of a rust spot there but I think that just needs a patch I don't think I need to buy any panels for it that has definitely got to be patched up hate that uh, on this wheel arch I wasn't quite sure whether it's the inner or the outer wheel arch that's gone but looking at it I'm feeling it around the inside here the inner wheel arch I think is all right it does have a little hole there that's two fingers wide uh, so that can probably just be patched up as well but other than that the inner wheel arch is nice and solid so again here all I need is the rear wheel arch again down the bottom there Probably a couple of little bit of patches to grind some paint off and have a look at that. Uh, but that's about it really, bodywork wise. Like I said, there's a dint there, dint there, shown that before. There's a little bit of rust at the bottom of the door there and I think, I don't think it's gone through, just needs to be a bit treated. It's got the odd dent, it's had a bit of a, a bump there, I think. Although we're looking at it, the other side's the same, so perhaps not. Uh, bodywork wise, the roof's I mean, they're always a bit dinted. I don't know if you can see it, but there's one there. Yeah, so that just needs pushing out a little bit. The front wheel arches, it's got a little, little dint there. They look all right, other than that. Uh, the rest of the car, bodywork wise, look pretty decent, actually. Uh, 
the front wheel arches There's nothing really with them like I say scratches a couple of dints but you know it's about a million years old this car so I'm not worried about them small little bits so bodywork wise it looks like it needs a wheel arch and a couple of patches that's about it it can just be painted after that Right, so that's the brakes done, it's all working. Brake pedal feels fine, took you for a quick drive, and uh, it still makes a noise on the front wheel arch, so I think I have to take off the inner lining there um, for the tires. But the brakes work fine. I did say at the beginning of the video I'll do the condenser and the points and stuff, but um, it took a lot longer to do the brakes than what I was planning on, so that'll just have to be another film, you just have to wait for that one. But that'll be around. So that's that all done. Um, stick around now then for the next video press the subscribe button so you don't miss anything and I'll see you in the next video thanks a lot and bye bye